So I'm going to show you how to make a digital clue. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to come and I pick my background. So when I go and I pick my background, um, what I like to do is pick custom colors. So to do that, I go to custom and then I click plus and I add colors. So if you didn't know, you can find the hex code colors of a bunch of different colors um, online. Um, and so I found a series that I liked and then I just click add and I add the next one, add, add. Um, so that's how I do that. So, okay, done. So from here, um, I want to ask my question for my clue game. So what was taken from the fridge? I'm going to add my direction slide, and then um, I'm going to add my information. So on this slide, for me, I want to know what item was taken, who took the item, and why did they take the item? So you can make this as funny as you want. Um, I would personalize it, and I would put like our principal's name, our custodian's name, the teacher's name, the secretary's name, and the librarian's name. Um, it just makes it a little more personal for the kids. So then I need to add these X's. So to do that, up here I have shapes. Um, you have all kinds of options here. So those X's are actually equations. They're the multiplication sign. So then I just drag it out to as big as I need it to be. And then you can pick your fill color. I picked the blue. Um, you can pick any color you want. So then for the circles, and what I do is I come, I go back to shapes, and it's going to look weird. It looks like a little donut. But then this little yellow piece right here, if you click and drag it, it can make it skinnier, fatter. So then I just pour red um, to make it a circle. So that's how I do those. So from there, for me, my students need it kind of broken down. So all these blue, I'm going to focus on the students finding slope. So every question I add here is going to be on slope. Then all the purple are going to be on finding the y-intercept, and then all the pink are going to be on writing the equation of the line. So when my students get an answer, so like for this question, for example, when they get this answer, the only column they're looking in is this first one. If you want to make it more complicated, you don't need to color coordinate it. You would just, you could just stick to like the tie-dye background for all of them. Um, for my students, it's easier if they just know, like, okay, all these, the answer should be here. If it's not here, then I did something wrong. So the last piece is how do you collect their work? Um, so we are hybrid. So some of my students are at home all the time. So for me, what I like to do is I just like to, at the end, um, I like to ask them to insert a picture of their work. So I would just add a text box, and I would say... Um, insert a picture of your work here. Okay, and then they can share it back with me. And I will be able to check right away based on their X's and their circles, what's right, what's wrong, but then I'll also be able to look at their work here. So you can do this for any type of activity. If you want this specific one, um, you can get it from my blog, which is pyrscare.com.